Happy New Year. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. When it comes to ringing in the new year, it seems that everyone on the planet has their own special and peculiar way of doing things. It's crazy. For example, in Denmark, people take dishes and plates and on December 31st, they shatter them against the doors of their friends and family. I wonder if these are the same guys who throw burning bags of poop at your doorstep on Halloween. <laughs> oh, I'll get those guys one year, I will. Okay, in Ecuador at midnight, they make these life-size scarecrows and burn them along with old photographs from the year gone by. This is to bring good fortune. In Spain, 12 grapes are stuffed into your mouth. Okay, let's see if we can do this. One, two, three, four, five, forty-five, six, seven, eight. Nine, five, um, wow. Okay. This is to bring you good luck for the next year. Take a second, chew. No, I'm not sure you're supposed to, are you? This is to bring you good luck for the coming year. Okay, hang on. <laughs> In the Philippines, it's all about round things. Eating round foods like oranges and melons. Wearing round clothes. How do you wear round clothes? Oh, I know, um, round like my lampshade, yeah. <laughs> round like a coin. This is supposed to bring you wealth. Underwear. In some South American countries, wearing colored underwear will determine your fate for the new year. Red underwear will bring you love. Gold underwear will bring wealth, and white underwear will bring peace. Hmm. I wonder what brown underwear represents. <laughs> In Switzerland, they like to drop ice cream on the floor to celebrate the new year. I wonder though, do you have to eat that ice cream? Hmm. In Romania, they throw spare coins into a nearby river to bring good luck. I think it would be better to toss those coins into your pocket, wouldn't it? And the Romanian farmers there, they like to communicate with their cows. Hey, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> this is weird. If they succeed in talking to their cow, it'll bring bad luck for the year. I say just don't make eye contact. Ha! In some parts of Puerto Rico, they throw pails of water out the window to drive off evil spirits. Better water than booze. In Bolivia, they bake coins into cakes and sweets. Whoever finds a coin has good luck for the next year. But what happens when you break your teeth chewing on that money? You're gonna have to take all that money you got and you're gonna have to give it to the dentist. In Chile, families spend the night, a sleepover in the graveyard with their deceased loved ones. In some parts of South Africa, they like to throw furniture out the window. <laughs> I'm not making this stuff up. <laughs> In Siberia, they like to jump into frozen lakes carrying a tree trunk. I don't know, why, why would they do that? What's up with the tree trunk? In Russia, they write down a wish on a piece of paper, burn it, and throw it into a champagne glass and drink it at midnight on New Year's Eve and finish it before 12.01. In Scotland, it's all about being the first person to cross a friend or neighbor's threshold of a home. Uh, they carry a gift to bring good luck. <laughs> In Finland, people predict the coming year by casting molten tin into a bucket of water, and then they interpret the resulting shape. Ah, looks like you're gonna be hit by a bus this year. <laughs> Dang. In Ireland, this is weird, they throw bread against the wall to get rid of evil spirits. 
And in Estonia, people eat seven times on New Year's Day to ensure abundance in the new year. My sister here in Canada likes to wash her face with a silver dollar to bring wealth for the coming year. <laughs> Washing your face with a silver dollar? I don't know. Me personally, with a drink in my hand, at the stroke of midnight, I like to play Auld Lang Syne on my record player. But before we can do that, I need to pop my cherry. <laughs> I mean make a New Year's Eve champagne cocktail I call Pop My Cherry. Let's make one. Okay, you know what? These fringes are like driving me nuts, right? I can't see nothing, so I'm gonna change uh, lampshades. <laughs> That's, this is more suitable, don't you think? Ta-da! All right, let's make a drink. Tis the season for clementines. I've got one peeled here, and you get about 10 pieces, so I'm just gonna drop that into our shaker glass. Yeah. Along with some cherries. Now these are sour pitted cherries. I don't know how many. One, two, three, four, let's go five. Five little cherries there, all right? You get in there with your muddler and you start muddling. Oh yeah, looking good. Oh, cherry orange, yeah. Okay, good enough. Let's add our booze. <laughs> We got gin, uh, one and a half ounces. Galliano, half ounce. And the all important cherry brandy. We got some cherry hearing here, half ounce. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now we're gonna add some black cherry juice, one ounce. A little simple syrup, half an ounce. And some Angostura bitters, three dashes. Grab some ice, shake it. Shake it into the new year, ha! Sweet. Now for our chilled champagne glasses. Okay, and all we want to do is pour it into our chilled champagne glasses. Make sure you leave a little room for your champagne. <laughs> Perfect, okay. And now for the all important champagne. But in our case, we're using Prosecco. Prosecco is a delightful bubbly wine that originally came from the village of Prosecco, a suburb of Trieste in Italy. The name Prosecco is actually Slovenian, uh, which means path through the woods. Now Prosecco goes through its secondary fermentation in big steel tanks, rather than in the bottle like champagne. This production method is less expensive to make, so it's less expensive to buy. Prosecco is made with highly aromatic grapes, and this is one reason why this bubbly tastes so good. And we're just gonna open this uh, bottle here. And you gotta be real careful because uh, this could fly off in your face. So you, sometimes you just wanna keep your thumb on there so you don't lose an eye. <laughs> it's all fun and games <laughs> till someone loses an eye. Yeah, okay. Let's open this. Nice and gentle. Yeah, sweet. And be real careful. How sweet is that? And all we wanna do now is pop my cherry. Yeah, baby. All right, let's check this out. Oh, pop my cherry, baby. Mm. It's light, it's refreshing. It's perfect for New Year's Eve. To all my viewers out there, thank you so much for watching. And without your support, 
we wouldn't have a show. <laughs> and I love your comments. Mm. Thanks again. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all acquaintance be forgot for the sake of all lame mm. See you next year. Finally, you want to just pop your cherry. Pop my cherry. <laughs>